Uh, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will learn about the basics of switches and uh, switch networks. We will see the definitions of switching and the classifications and how we use uh, switching at different layers in the network. First of all, uh, there are two kinds of networks, non-switched and switched. Uh, as the names clearly show the difference between the 12 move directly to what kinds of network architectures they use and how they differ in their working. The uh, non-switched uh, networks employ two types, the full mesh networks and the broadcast networks. As you can see in uh, full mesh networks, each terminal is connected uh, directly to every other terminal present in its zone. Uh, although the, this kind of network doesn't allow any interruption of service uh, since other, another path can be used uh, to move data in case a link is broken. But uh, it involves a lot of cabling and tends to be economical uh, and insecure as uh, accessing the node nodes is easy by the, all the other terminals. The next type of network that uh, non-switched uh, networks use in the, is the broadcast. Uh, each terminal in this case is connected to a common shared medium. Uh, information is sent to every node and the destination uh, chooses the appropriate information which is which basically means that uh, it lacks security as the information is visible to all the terminals uh, also as the number of uh, nodes increases the scalability becomes an issue due to the increasing chances of uh, data collisions Uh, coming to the switch networks, uh, they use network switches which allow a dedicated connection to each workstation and uh, also allows multiple conversations at a single time, meaning uh, traffic can be multiplexed from multiple sources. The drawbacks of these networks are that they are quite expensive as compared to the others. And, uh, they can cause delays since uh, switches are required to learn about the location of all the nodes uh, before transmission. But that only happens uh, once in a while. Uh, however, switches uh, provide secure communication with good scalability and uh, they are reliable and also tend to avoid uh, the data collisions. This brings me to the definition of a switch and uh, any device with multiple ports that aims to direct unicast traffic to only one output port <clears throat> that leads to the destination. Or I like to put it this way, it, uh, a device in the network which efficiently aids the source to transfer data only to the required destination is a switch. Uh, it should be noted here that the switches have to learn the mm, location of the destination port before they can move the data to the required port. Uh, this is called MAC learning where the switch learns the addresses from the frames it receives and uh, stores them in the forwarding uh, database. Next up uh, is the switching at various OSI layers. We'll uh, look at um, the lower layer switching and the higher layer switching. Uh, first up is the physical uh, lower layer switching. It includes the physical layer, the data link layer, and the third, the network layer. Uh, second, third layers are the most common switching layers, uh, and uh, the layer two switches operate using MAC addresses. Uh, as explained earlier, these switches do not look at layer 3 or any other layer for any more information and are thus very fast because <clears throat> their only job is sorting the MAC addresses. The layer 3 switches, however, use the IP addresses uh, and identify the location in a network. Uh, this location could be basically anything. It could be a piece of uh, the network's memory or just another packet traveling through the network. The layer 3 switches consume more time because of this. And uh, they also have to include other routing functions like CRC uh, to, uh, to calculate the best way to send a packet to its destination. Uh, it should be noted here that the L3 switches and routers have the same functionality. Uh, and the only difference between them and the routers is that how they are physically implemented by the administrator. At the higher uh, layer switching, uh, the layer 4 switches are capable of identifying which application protocols are included with each packet and then they use this information to send the packet. Layer 4 decision, uh, switches make decisions by taking into account the application to which the packet belongs like HTTP, FTP and also notes the uh, port numbers. Uh, 
which is that these layers implement only a subset of the functions of a layer. They don't perform the all the functions of the layer. The last topic in this uh, video is the hierarchical networking. A layer three model was proposed by Cisco, which divides the network into three uh, the mentioned three layers. The access layer connects the end stations or hosts to the servers. The distribution layer oversees the management of policies like uh, routing, filtering, quality of service, while the core layer provides fast forwarding to move uh, packets between distribution layer devices in the network. So basically, core switches uh, are the most powerful switches. Core has the most powerful switches in the network. Uh, and as we move towards the core, uh, availability, reliability, and throughput become increasingly important while functionality tends to be reduced in the core since most of the functions are performed in the distribution layer. Uh, the cost in core la layer increases since high speed devices are required. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you.